Next, the As the Bell Rings Marathon on Disney Shows 2000 on YouTube. I am Demi Lovato from As the Bell Rings and you're watching Disney Shows 2000 on YouTube. As the Bell Rings! You know, guys, I think I'm gonna buy Charlotte a flower. What a beautiful thought. Isn't that beautiful? Are you out of your mind? What's the big deal? Well, say you buy Charlotte a flower and then she doesn't buy one for you. You're gonna look pretty foolish. Yeah, Skipper should know. That's awfully sweet, Skipper. I'm sorry I didn't get you a card. Hey, no biggie. It was just a last minute thing. I'm not even that into Valentine's Day. <laughs> That was classic. Skipper's got a point. What if she does buy me a flower and I don't give one for her? Then she's gonna feel bad. Yeah, you don't want that. So what should I do? You could always go home with the flower day blue. I just wish there was a way to find out if Charlotte was getting me a flower. Oh, there's a way. There's always a way. Oh, see, uh, see ya. See ya. Charlotte, are you getting Danny a flower? I'm thinking about it. You know, I don't get flower day. It's a day when popular kids get flowers. Thank you. <laughs> I get that part, but why even have it? I mean, school's supposed to be about learning. Thank you. <laughs> this is just a distraction that reinforces negative status levels among students. Thank you. <laughs> what I'm saying is, I really hate Flower day. I want to get Danny a flower. I just wish I knew if he was getting me one. You know, if I were a young whippersnapper, I'd love to get a flower from a pretty girl. Okay. True, you think I'd have given some lucky fella a flower? Yeah. Oh, that one's nice. So, who's your lucky fella? Does his name by chance rhyme with Lanny? Skipper? Skipper? No, my, my name is Kiffer with, with a K. Skipper's my, my, my nephew. Good looking kid, that Skipper. <laughs> you might even consider getting him a flower, Tiffany. How do you know my name? Well, gotta go. See you guys later. If you wanted to know if Charlotte was getting Danny a flower, you could have just asked. And will you please take off that stupid mustache? Oh. Okay, so is she getting him a flower? It depends. Is Danny getting her a flower? It depends. Oh, man, back to where we started. I'll go get the mop. No, you goof. If only there were a way to let each of them know the other is getting them a flower. Tiffany, you're brilliant. I am? What I do? Toe Jam, you tell Danny Charlotte's getting him a flower, and I'll tell Charlotte Danny's getting her one. That way, they both get flowers, and everybody's happy. I don't get it. Well, Sam. Thanks, guys. I owe you big time. This will be the best flower day ever. Sold out? Now what am I gonna do? Do you think Charlotte's already gotten me a flower? I don't know, but we can't risk it. Come on, I've got another plan. This one ought to be good. Sold out? Great! Now Danny's gonna feel awful when he hands me that flower. We can't let that happen. Come on, I've got a plan. Hey. Hi. Listen, Danny, I didn't buy you a flower. You didn't? That, that's great. I, I mean, they were sold out, so I didn't buy you one either. But I do have a backup flower. Thanks. It's really pretty. And way better than my backup. Ta -da! Hey there, Skipper. Hey, Uncle Kipper.
Hey, guys. Who's signing up for the talent show? I am. Me, too. Nah. Oh, come on. We do it every year. No, no. I'll just be happy to watch my talented friends. Suit so yourself, but this talented friend's got to go practice. Hey, can you guys help me decide on my talent? Sure, Tiff. What are you thinking about doing? Well, I've got to narrow down to either hand modeling or reciting the alphabet backwards. Z, Y. Well, I'm still practicing that one. See ya. Well, if you're not going to sign up, maybe you could help me out with my act. Sure, what's your talent? I'm going to sing. And I'm going to dance. The next part goes, sentences of yours running through my head, searching for a chance to catch my breath. That's really good. Really? I don't want to make a fool of myself. Hey, guys, check this out. <laughs> so, what do you think? Well, it sure was loud. Awesome, thanks. Okay, so back to the lyrics. Okay. I've been working on this all period. Z, Y, X. I'll be right back. I was thinking for the next part, maybe it goes day or night, dark or light. I don't know. I just feel like it needs a little bit more... Magic? Pick a card, any card. No, don't let me see it. Is it the Seven of Diamonds? Nope. Man. Not exactly the magic I was looking for. Okay, day or night, dark or light. Hey, how about you'll be taking over that thing called my shadow? That's really good. But is it this good? Let's pick this up next period. Great. So the next part is sentences of yours running through my head, searching for a chance to catch my breath. A never-ending dream. You'll become a part of me. Now that's magic. <laughs> magic? Pick a card, any card. Now don't show me. Is it the Queen of Hearts? Nope. Are you sure? Yep. Man. <laughs> Sorry about all these interruptions. We're so close. Okay, I totally have it now. Z, Y, X, W. You'll see me in a few minutes. <laughs> Take your time. Okay, guys, check this out. I gave up on the clarinet. I just wasn't feeling it. So? Well, it's definitely louder. Sweet. Okay, I think we have something. Let's put this together. Sentences of yours Running throughout my head And searching for a chance to catch my breath A never-ending dream You'll become a part of me Day or night, dark or light, you'll be Taking over that Think of my shadow. Wow, oh, you're amazing. amazing. But are you this? No, I got nothing. <laughs> and what happens under days the wind? And the clouds appear and fade away my shade. Oh. Okay, I got it. Z Y X W V U T S R Q P O N M L K J I H G F E D C B A. Hey, where'd everyone go? Oh well, maybe I'll just do the hand modeling.
can't go to the dance with you. Bye. That was Kyle Mangold, captain of the basketball team. And the math team. What? He is. And he's not good looking enough. Looks aren't everything, Tiffany. Oh, Charlotte. Poor, poor Charlotte. Dances are stupid anyways, and the dating pressures they add to the student body are unwarranted and unnecessary. We only say that because you've never actually been to a dance. Yeah, you're right. This is crazy. We can't just stand back here and hide. We'll never get dates this way. We need to be more over there. Hiding? No, not hiding. Asking. But Brooke Rose's not my type. She's too stuffy and beige. And I like my lady's doll. Yeah, well, I hear Cheryl's looking for a date. And she's asking anything that moves. Cheryl! <laughs> the dance? Uh, I can't. I'm, uh, I'm having my spleen removed. Yeah, sorry. Spleen removal? That's the worst excuse ever. Okay, you could do better. Yeah, I could. Hey, focus. Now, the key is confidence. That's what ladies respond to. Now, let's do this. Next period. Okay, let's try this again. Hey, Jim. Jim. Hey. I was just, uh, I was just looking for the weight room. <laughs> What is with them? Skipper wants to ask me to the dance. Danny wants to ask you. And Toe Jam's so Toe Jam. Danny likes me? How can you tell? He does? No. How? Body language, duh. Pop quiz. Does he ever rub his arms, fix his hair, or lose focus when you ask him a non-school question? So, what are you doing this weekend? Me? <laughs> I'm probably just gonna... Look, a squirrel! <laughs> Sometimes. Has he ever leaned next to you? So, that was a pretty tough test, huh? Yeah, I was just... Once. And do you find him staring at you as you walk down the hall? <laughs> yes! So he's gonna ask me? No. He's terrified. He'll probably send Toe Jam to do it. Bye. Bye. Now you. What about me? Time to get you a date. I'm out. The dance is too much pressure. I mean, why can't a girl just ask out a guy for a change? <laughs> Cheryl! Uh, the dance. A girl asking a guy? Cool. Well, here's the thing. pretty quick. Yeah, who knew? Huh. Oh, I got an idea. Why don't you ask Charlotte for me? What? No way, okay? I don't want to be involved with any of them. That's why you don't get nervous around them. I do. Just go find her, be your smooth self. Get me a date with Charlotte. Hey, Charlotte, uh, Danny wanted me to ask. Whoa! Brooke? I look stupid, right? No, no, uh... Hey, look, a squirrel! <laughs> hey. Okay, I'm out of here. Whoa. Toe Jam. Was that Brooke? Yes, were you gonna say something? Wow. <laughs> I get it. Here you go. Oh, no, no. Will you go to the dance with Danny? Oh, yeah! Oh, no. Hey guys, uh, Tiffany said no. You, you asked her? No. So, uh, you asked Brooke? Yep. And? No. Uh, I'm going with Cheryl. Yeah, sorry about that, buddy.
what time it is? Nap time? No. Time to talk to the guys? No. It's bathroom time. Uh. <laughs> okay. When Charlotte comes out of the bathroom, engage her in polite conversation. Like what? Dude, like the weather, the bio test. Just don't talk about bathrooms, okay? It's not romantic. Then uh, ask her if she'll go to the mall with you on Saturday. And uh, if you can, see if Tiffany will go with me. Oh, great idea. Come on. <laughs> hey, Danny, what's up? Hey, Charlotte. I was just wondering, why do girls go to the bathroom together? What did I just say? You boys wouldn't understand. Yeah, you're probably right. Wait a sec. What do you mean we wouldn't understand? We're smart. Kinda. Yeah, we're kind of smart. So, uh, what does go on in there? That's where the mirrors are. Oh. We also go to connect. You know, wind down from class. But mainly, we just talk about how to destroy boys. Really? Oh, yeah. Destroy. Destroy. Well, I say let's try it. I gotta go. I don't gotta go. Oh, well, um, I'll see, see you guys later. Class. Don't oh, embarrass yourself. Why it's don't a girls' bathroom. Guys, girls. just because you go together doesn't mean you go together. Oh, well, that makes sense. <laughs> Wait, so even if you don't have to go to the bathroom, you go to the bathroom? That makes no sense. In girl world, which thankfully none of you live, it makes total sense. Well, I gotta go. I downed two iced teas at lunch, and we did this water flow experiment in science where the water rushed down this ladder like, like whoosh. Great, now Skipper's gotta go. No, I don't. Will someone please remind me why I hang out with you guys? Because we grew up on the same street, and you're sort of stuck up, so nobody else wants to talk to you anymore. Right, now I remember. <laughs> Look, guys don't go to the bathroom together, because in guy world, they just don't. In fact, in guy world, we can go outside if we want to. So, guy world smells like... Hey, guy world smells awesome. Hey, you know what else smells awesome? <laughs> Malls. I think it would be more manly to do the unmanly thing and go to the bathroom together. Really? You think uh, unmanly is manly? Oh, yeah. So manly. Good luck with that. Uh, may maybe, well, maybe next period we can start fresh and talk about malls and uh, how great they are on Saturday. Water flow experiment? Seriously? What? Maybe it's great going together. Yeah, girls love it and they're smart and they always come out laughing. <laughs> See? You want to know why we don't laugh when we come out of the bathroom? Because we're not girls? There's that, and because we go alone. <laughs> Are you guys still talking about going together? It's not that simple. It's against our law of nature. If we do this, what's next? Wearing skirts? I'm so glad I'm not a guy. Are skirts even comfortable? Very. Look, if guys start going to the bathroom together like girls, I cannot even imagine what would happen. <laughs> so basically, you're afraid people will see you and laugh. Exactly. Wait, I have a plan. Oh my gosh, rats in the hallway, everybody run! <laughs> Look, Jessica Simpson's washing a bus and she's all sudsy. Oh. Guys, guys. No. You've got 30 seconds. Oh! You didn't want to wait for them, did you? Nah. <laughs> Why are we laughing? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <clears throat> We're never going to get dates with them, are we? Nope. <laughs>
Hey, guys, uh, have you seen Charlotte? I wanted to show her this painting I did. What is it? It's a flower. <laughs> right. So, have you seen her? Well, Skipper saw Charlotte at lunch, hanging out with Frank. Fr Frank? Frank. The guy who throws you into the trash can every day? Hey, he doesn't do that anymore, okay? I had a little talk with him. You know what, Frank? The days of you throwing me in the trash can are over. Yeah, you showed him. Why would Charlotte be hanging out with Frank? Well, it's a sad fact of life, but ladies love bad boys. No matter how good looking you are. <laughs> oh, you're serious? <laughs> okay, if a bad boy's what Charlotte wants, a bad boy's what she'll get. Who's with me? <laughs> Danny's a babe magnet. Which means we're all babe magnets. <laughs> hey, ladies. It's all right. Keep walking. So with the Skipmeister, it's all about the chase. I wonder where Danny is. He said he had something to give me. Is that him with Haley? What's he doing with her? I mean, doesn't she, like, live in detention? It's a sad fact of life. Guys just love bad girls. Doesn't matter how smart you are. Because let's face it, no one cares how smart you are. Or good looking. Cause the point is, if you aren't a bad girl, guys won't give you the time of day. Bad girl, huh? Okay, well, if a bad girl is what Danny wants, then a bad girl is what he'll get. Who's with me? I am not dressing up like a bad girl. <laughs> and I've already changed like twice today. Come on, guys, we're friends. Don't make me throw you in that trash can. Is that too mean? No, that was good. This will be fun. <laughs> Nothing. What's up with you? Nothing. Why are you snapping? No reason. Yo. 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 Yo, yo. Yeah, I said it twice. You got a problem with that? I'm cool. You know, school stinks. I was thinking of cutting last period. Who's with me? Yeah, yeah I'm with you. Do Wait. Wait, I have a quiz in history. I can't miss the... How about Monday? It's like a half day anyway. <laughs> hey, you don't plan to cut class. It's an impulse thing. You just do it. I'll cut class with you. Oh, really? You think you've got what it takes? Do you? I asked you first. I asked you second. Okay, maybe I won't cut class, but I'll tell you one thing. I'm not doing any homework tonight. Yeah, and I'm not tutoring Frank. What do you think about that? I'll tell you what I think about that. Wait, you're... Tutoring, Frank? Yeah, what's it to you? Nothing, I just thought... So you're not into bad boys? Well, no, but don't you like bad girls? Well, no. Well, I'm glad that's over. So can we please stop pretending we're in a Broadway show now? All right, see ya. Bye. <laughs> Hey, I think you threw this away by mistake. Yeah. Maybe you could stop by my house and help hang it up? Uh, absolutely, I... But I can't today. Oh, right, me neither. I've, I've got, got detention. detention. Really, me too. <laughs> Chewing gum in class. Burning in the hall. Ooh, you are bad. <laughs> <laughs> Would you cut that out? <sighs> oh.
guys, I don't think this is such a good idea. Look, if you can't find the words to ask Charlotte out, we'll help you. Just say what we say. Quick, here she comes. Hey. Hey, Charlotte. Tell her her dress looks nice. Your dress looks nice. Thanks, but I'm not wearing a dress. What I meant was, if you were wearing a dress, I'm sure it would look nice. Thanks, I think. Tell her her hair looks beautiful. You know, your hair looks beautiful. A bird just pooped on my shoe. Thanks, I get it from my mom. That's disgusting. That's disgusting. But I thought you just said you liked my hair. No, no, I, I do, I do like your hair. Are you okay? Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Sorry. Maybe I should get back to class. Um, no, wait. Oh, your breath stinks. Your breath stinks. Okay, well, maybe I should go get some gum. Um, no, wait. There's been something I've been trying to say. Get away from me. Get away from me. Fine. You know, you're acting really weird. Wait. Sorry about it. Let me just start over. Will you go on a date with me? Well, yeah. Fantastic. So I'll see you later. See you later. Wait, does my breath really stink? No, your breath smells good. Cool. Bye, Danny. Bye, Charlotte. Bye, Toe Jim. Bye, Skipper. Well, it worked. It's a study debut. Debut. Sounds like a date to me. <laughs> hey, guys. Brooke? What happened? I just got my first B. I'm not cut out for this whole school thing anymore. Maybe you're taking this B thing a little too far. I don't know. This just feels right. Well, that's cool. So we still on for a little study session later? Nah. I want to finish this poem. All I can see is a ring of darkness surrounding me. You know, that might just be your eyeliner. Well, once I realized I wasn't a straight-A student, everything became clear. I mean, why be a poser, right? Later, dudes. Sorry, Toe Jam. I don't know if you're ever going to get that date. Oh, I'm getting that date. Told you it was a date. <laughs> yeah. No, Toe Jam. <laughs> I feel like you should be carrying a pillowcase saying twick a twee. <laughs> Trust me, this will totally work. Hey, Charlotte. Brooke, you look normal. What happened? Well, it turns out the teacher made a mistake. I actually got an A on my test. <laughs> Phew. Hey, have you seen Toe Jam? I wanted to tell him we're back on for our study date. Date, huh? Oh, yeah. Hey, uh, who's your new friend? This is Spike. Nice to meet you. Well, bye. Bye. You might want to change for your day. You think? Oh, one more thing. Uh-huh. Happy Halloween. Uh -huh. And the vote was unanimous. Yep, everyone agreed Skipper was by far the most qualified to make a fool of himself. Thank you. You're welcome. I knew you had it in you, buddy. And the best part? Ladies love the mascots. Ka -ka! <laughs> Whoa, that is power. And we use every bit of it on Tiffany. Hey, when she comes by, make sure she doesn't leave. I'll be right back. Nature calls. What 
you can't go. Skipper's got this great surprise for you. I'm going to be late. If it's so great, it can wait. Hey, that rhymes. I can use that for my poem in English. Late, great, wait. Late, great, wait. What happened to Tiffany? She was going to be late and said I could wait. Oh, great. Just my fate. I'll never get that date. What's with all the rhyming? So what's this big surprise? I can't tell you. It's a secret. Yeah, Skipper wants to see the look on your face when you see he's a new mascot. Brooke! <laughs> Sorry. Wait. Skipper's going to be in that big bird costume? <laughs> Tiffany quit the cheerleading squad. It's the bell ring. One, three, two. Let's go. Let's go. It's the bell ring. It's the bell ring. Hey, Danny, check this out. I found this girl's magazine and someone filled out the relationship quiz. Hey, let me see that. What are the top three things you want in a boyfriend? A good listener, someone who's sensitive, and has a great sense of humor. Lucky for me, I've got all those covered. Really? And after that moment, my life was changed forever. Oh, I'm sorry, were you saying something? <laughs> okay, maybe I'm not such a great listener, but I am sensitive. We're all sorry about your goldfish, Brooke. But it's dead. Get over it. <laughs> Crying won't bring it back. Oh, yeah. Real sensitive. Fine, but I know I'm funny. What did the apple say to the banana? <laughs> Nothing. Apples can't talk. <laughs> <laughs> what? They can't. Yeah, you're a riot. It's so big deal. These quizzes don't mean a thing. I guess. Oh, it's Charlotte's quiz. Oh, great. Wait, it also says she loves clog dancing. If you learn, you're totally in. Fantastic. Clog dancing it is. What is clog dancing? I have no idea. Hey, Charlotte, I think you're really gonna enjoy this. What is he doing? He's clogging. He learned it just for you. Why? Because you filled out this quiz? <sighs> My mom filled out that quiz. Ew. Hey, uh, you seen Skipper? No, but what's with all the girls? Marcy, did you do something different with your hair? Hey, wait, I know that voice. Stacy, I love that shade of lipstick. And Rebecca, is that a new sweater? No way. Excuse me, ladies. What's up, guys? Wait, were you actually talking to those girls? Yep, and they were listening. Yes, they were. Okay, we may have stumbled into an alternate universe. No, I read a book. Yeah, we're definitely in an alternate universe. How to talk to girls? What? What does it say? Well, it's all about looking them in the eyes and, and telling them what they want to hear. That can't work. Oh, no? Prepare to be amazed. Hello, beautiful. How are you doing? You know, I could just swim in those eyes. Okay, you can go. Dude, that was incredible. You could date any girl in school. As long as that any girl is Tiffany and I don't make a fool of myself. That has been a problem for you. <laughs> yeah. uh, 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 Not anymore. Well, here's your big chance, buddy. Watch and learn, fellas. Watch and learn. Hi, guys. Hey, hey Tiff. Tiff. 
Oh. Bye, guys. Bye, Tiff. Watch and learn. More like crash and burn. Oh. 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 Oh, hey, Tiffany, what you working on? Only the most exciting thing to ever happen in my life. You know, you kind of say that about everything. No, I don't. Hey, Tiff, what's going on? Only the most exciting thing to ever happen in my life. I just found out we don't have school tomorrow. Tomorrow, Saturday. Isn't that the best? So, what is it this time? Only the most exciting thing to ever happen in my life. Yeah, I got that part. I'm entering a contest to become America's next teen superstar fashion designer. You want to be my model? Wow. Wow. That outfit. That outfit right there. That is something special. But, you know, I think that calls for someone more tallish, more supermodel y Someone like, uh... Hey, what's up, small fry? <laughs> like Danny. What about Danny? Well, Tiffany here needs a tall supermodel type to help her out. A guy. Much like yourself. Well, I'd be lying if I said I haven't been asked to model before. Great! I'll go get the outfit. And I'll go get the camera. And I'll just stand here and look good. <laughs> That's it. Work it, work it. Okay, now give me pouty. Now give me a smile. Okay, pouty works too. Maybe a little less anger. Maybe if he tries putting his hands on his hips. You know, he's not a very good model. You knew about this the whole time, didn't you? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just a little small fry. It's the bell ring! One, three, two. Let's go. Let's go. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. It's the bell ring! Hey guys, I hope you vote for me for student body president. And here's my plan for improving the school. Wow, that's really thorough. <laughs> Scrape gum from underneath desk day. That's not disgusting at all. Thank you. It's a passion project. So, Brooke can count on your votes? You see, all the other candidates are giving out free stuff. It's like Christmas. So, this junk is how you're deciding who to vote for? Well, yeah! Hey, what's that? Our secret weapon to get Brooke elected. One bite of these cupcakes and Brooke's a shoe-in for class president. Those are some pretty weird-looking cupcakes. No, Tiff, that's the batter. Oh, right, like in baseball. Hey, batter, 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 so wing, batter. Listen. All you need to do is pour these in the cups and bake them at 350. I gotta go work on the banners. Okay. Hey, bada, 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 so wing, bada. Oh, great, the flyers are here. Um, just hand them to Tiffany. She's in the kitchen. Cupcake? Yeah! Hey! So, Brooke can count on your vote? Sure. By the way, Tiff, what did you do with the flyers? Vote for Brooke, she's off the hook. I can't believe you put the flyers in the cupcakes. I, I thought that's what she wanted me to do. These cupcakes are a hit. And the flyers inside? Genius. That's exactly what I wanted you to do. Thanks. They're fortune cupcakes. So we better.
Hey, a skipper, you got an audition for Romeo and Juliet? You kidding? I can't wait! To be or not to be! Follow the yellow brick road! You feel a lucky punk? Yeah, maybe you should try out too. Charlotte is. Maybe you two will get the lead. I hear there's an awesome kissing scene. On second thought, I really should focus on my schoolwork. What are you talking about? This is finally your chance to kiss Charlotte. Well, I've never actually kissed a girl. Don't worry. I'll teach you everything you need to know. Like you've actually kissed a girl. Big time. Mary Ann DiCamello. Taylor Walcourt, first grade. Greatest day of my life. Mary Ann, Mary Ann. I don't know about this. Trust me. I've got a plan. Right this way, I found a volunteer. And you can practice kissing her as much as you'd like. Really? Ah! No way! Okay, but don't blame me if you don't get the part. And somebody else kisses Charlotte! Hey, Danny, are you going to try out for Romeo and Juliet? Skipper, what are you doing? Um, I'm just rehearsing. Romeo, Romeo, where's more out there, Romeo? Okay, so Danny, are you auditioning? Uh, I'm, I'm not sure why. Well, I was hoping to rehearse with someone. Someone with a pulse. Uh, I mean, not the kissing part, that'd be weird. Yeah, totally weird. Yeah, I'll help you practice. I, I mean, your lines. Cool. She's all yours. Suit yourself. Mary Ann! Why, why, you haven't changed a bit. Tether Ball Court? I'd love to. That's when I realized I needed to multiply by pi squared. And the rest was cake. Get it? Pi cake. <laughs> Get out of my way, geek. What a jerk. Brooke, you're not a geek. Well, I'm starting to believe he thinks that's my name. Did you guys hear that? Um, no, we were avoiding Frank. Well, he keeps calling Brooke a geek. I think you guys should say something to him. I'm happy to help out, but I don't speak bully. I speak a little jock. And I'm thinking about taking Portuguese. This is serious. I think it's time somebody gave Frank a taste of his own medicine. I don't know about this, guys. Calling me a geek is not that big a deal. No, you know what, Brooke? Yes, it is. Someone messes with you, and they're messing with me, okay? Now, come on. Get out of my way, geek. Who are you calling a geek? Frank. Or should we say Francis? What's going on? Are you guys all dressed like that? How come you're dressed like that? Yeah, you're the only one that stands out now, Francis. Francis? That's my grandmother's name. But I don't think we ever called her Frank. <laughs> Listen, Frank. I think you got something to say to my friend here. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I'm sorry I called you a geek, Brooke. You see, sometimes I project my own insecurities on others. It won't happen again. Thanks, Toe Jam. And thanks, geeks. <laughs> Are the new hall monitor there's a new sheriff in town boys all right i get the vest but uh what's with the hat thought i'd add a little something extra yeah it sure did this is awesome our best friend is in charge of the hall it's gonna be like having a personal get out of jail free card blue <laughs> do that's okay mrs lambert bear with me Oh, yeah. This is gonna be sweet. Yeah. Now, you guys should know it's a violation of Hall Monitor Code to play favorites. Now, move it along before I have to write you guys up. This 
This whole hall monitor business has gone right to Skipper's head. It's getting absurd. All right, Speedy, where's the fire? You're going undercover now? And that's entrapment. And here's one for you, aiding and abetting a criminal. Aiding and abetting? Don't make me add resisting. You're abusing the vest, you know. And that hat looks ridiculous. You know I pulled you over, miss? No, officer. You were texting back there and nearly ran that kid over. Oh, gosh. I'm so sorry. No, oh, well, guess I could let you off of the warning this one time. Thanks, officer. You text safely now, ma'am.